Oh, hey, what's up, guys? It's TS People here, and it's been a while. It's been a while since I've done a tutorial or any video uploads lately. Um, but today I'm bringing you guys a very popular, uh, uh, what do you call it, video tutorial. Um, you've probably seen it a lot lately now on uh, logos. Um, let's see if we can find one like um, like 3D pop out logos. Uh, like it's like little popping out here. Um, let's see if we can find one. Uh, well, I'll show you examples right here. Hold on. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Like a cool example would be like this right here. How it's you can see the logo and like the image is popping out of the logo. It's been used a lot lately, and uh, everyone's doing it now. So I might as well make a tutorial to let other people know how to do it. I mean, yeah, it's it's a good way to keep your secret that way not many people know how to do it but I'd rather like show show how it's done um uh, okay so uh this is just a template guys um a template that was made by TES gospel I, I, I believe um it's just like a regular like there's nothing 3D about it it's just um 2D layers, 2D, 2D layers, you see, um, so it gives you know, like a nice little 3D Im uh, image style right here, but then you got the little, st the stroke around the, uh, the gray, the gray, uh, TS logo, so what I like to do guys is, um, we'll do like a simple, a simple one that we can get you know how to do it. Uh, let's go to my bunch of stuff here. Let's grab a nice um, PNG. What well, I like to go for PNGs, PNG images, um, like images by itself. Like if we get like Kratos, uh, we get Kratos. Um, see how it's not just Kratos by himself. That way it's not a big hassle. I mean, you could do the full wallpapers like. If you like a really cool image, say like you want an image like, like, uh, let's see. Like, say you want it like this on your logo, and then you'd have to go around each individual uh, character and uh, cut them out and stuff. So it'll take longer to put like PNGs because it's just it by itself. And I'll show you how to get a nice little uh, background area effect in behind Kratos. That way it looks a lot better. <sighs> I haven't done a commentary tutorial in a while, so I might sound boring, but I don't care. So you put it, just um, make the stroke invisible, give it visible, whatever, not visible, or like hide it or whatever. And you put one Kratos here and then one on the top of the stroke. And then just uh, hide the top layer and then you uh, clip the Kratos on top of, on the top layer of the logo so it looks like this and then you uh, bring this and then let's see this, you can um, like his leg will be popping out in his swords and his head yeah so now what we do is you you change your opacity down that way you can see the the logo and then just go ahead and uh, erase the uh, the area where that way he's not his whole body's not like out and you, you could actually see the logo so just erase all this stuff so you can make the little three symbol more uh, visible and on his leg, I'm just going to keep his leg there. That way it looks like his leg's coming out. And then just delete this. And then this right here. And if you, if you, if you, if you, if on this top layer of Kratos, if you just go in and you want to erase this right here, uh, it's not going to erase anything because you got this bottom layer right here. That way, if you fucking like go like boom, like in here, then yeah. But if you erase top here, then yeah, you don't do that because then it'll look stupid and you'll look erase. So you see, as you can see, you got the little 3D logo here. You can see the TS logo very well here, and it looks like as if Kratos' his body is popping, uh, coming out, going in, coming out, his swords in the, in the logo, and then you got the little layer right here, and the sword's coming out, obviously, but 
uh, his arm is and his body stuck in there. So I think you can just go ahead and mess around with it a little bit more. Um, like if you grab both of these, not the stroke, and just like move it, move him around. Like uh, is that way it looks like more. He's more into the thing. It just depends how and what you're using. So. That's what I like to do, um, and now since he's done, like, that's pretty much it. That was it. It's easy. And then to get a nice, you just go, like, uh, uh, let's say you want, like, this. That way everything flows good. Um, that way it's just not, like, by himself. Like, you see how the plane, the... T R or the T S logo is it's just plain. Uh, what is that wallpaper? I like to grab like other images about that uh about the logo I'm using or whatever, and I just like to implement it that way. Uh, it flows better. Like, say you use Mario, then you'd use like a Super Mario background wallpaper and like a PNG GIF. You know what I mean? Like. Mario, if it, if I would use Mario, I'd like just grab Mario, put him on the logo, do like the 3D stuff, and then just grab a like grab like a like one of these, maybe this one, or maybe like this, or yeah, like a Super Mario background, and just put it behind uh, Mario. That way, it looks like it's all together, all one piece. And then maybe this Kratos here, you could like do lower down the contrast on it because it looks a little too uh, bright, I say. Or you can just up the contrast on this. That way it looks more colorful. It goes all the way. It looks more like uh, there, like that. And then that's pretty much it. And you just open up the stroke, and then it makes it even look a lot better. Like, oh, see how this stroke has all these white lines and everything? You just wanna uh, go back to the top layer of uh, whatever image you're using and just go around and erase. That way, the, the stroke becomes a little bit visible on the areas that you want it to be visible. Like, obviously, you want it here because then it wouldn't look right. It looked like like this it'd be like whoa what happened but yeah see that's nice and then on the stroke just give it a stroke and then just you can go with the nice blood red and it just makes it really nice or you can even do orange actually orange would be better a nice totez orange yeah there you go see that looks a lot thicker and then uh, delete this real quick. And then what I like to do is give it a gradient, um, black to white, and then just do it, lower down the op opacity on it. That way it makes it more like fluent, more together. Like uh, nothing, everything doesn't stand out like a nice like flow to the image. And what I like to do is add another gradient, but like make it like um, colors that flow through this, but maybe like a like a nice tannish to like dark orange maybe so what I like to do is go like a tan like a nice tan let's see if we can get a nice tan going like a nice tan to a dark orange Looks good, and then um, I reverse, reverse it, and then just uh, what you, know, you can do. I sometimes use the overlay, or if not, I just use the opacity. But if you use the opacity, then everything just becomes orange. And if you do the overlay, then it's just overlay over this, and then it would just make a nice flow. See, you don't want to keep it all the way up here because then it just makes it stupid. See, and if you go zero, then you don't see it, but if you bring it up just a tad bit. Like maybe 20 gives it a nice overall image of the colors popping out. Whew. And then, uh, after I give the two gradients, I usually give it a curve. And then just...
just line up, line up this little that triangle and then line up this tri uh, square, I mean. And then I like to mess it around a bit to give it like a nice shadow depth and like it just depends how you want your logo. These logos take longer because you actually have to spend time on them and make them nice and everything. And then you could give it like a drop shadow depending like how you made this guy. You don't want to pop out like, see, it's, this is nice. Nice. So you just give it a nice look like it's popping. It actually makes it even more better, more 3D effect ish. So, and then you could mess around a bit more. You give it, add a new layer. Uh, grab like a nice, um, say you guys, if you're doing like a Darth Vader, then you go with like a red on his lightsaber and um, grab the brush and add like, like just like little uh, circles of uh, brushes and then just change the linear dodge add, lower down the opacity, make it look like it's a nice glow. That way it just stands out like you do on his shoulders and like a sword and then uh, let's see and I always I always like to add like a white one like on a white one so everything like like a little bit better and just like oh yeah like I don't know it makes it like a lot nicer looking so there that's the uh, tutorial guys um you can do a lot with it like you could do like uh, oil paint over this, uh, like a bunch of more stuff. There's a, I forgot the other one. It's called um, stylize. You can stylize it. You could do a bunch of stuff to the edges of the image and just make it like nice and pretty, like this right here. If you wanted to, you could also like give it like a background, but I don't. I don't like to. I just like keep it white. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you guys need more help, um, let me know. Uh, gladly like to help you guys if you guys want some logos made for your team you know like or you want a logo made if you're in a team and you want me to make your logo like this and I'll I can go ahead and make you one um, I do charge so I hope you guys understand about that um, uh, quality comes with um, a price you know skills comes with like if you're skillful at something you know put it to work so yeah guys um, this is for the tutorial. Um, please don't forget to like and comment. And uh, yeah, guys, that's it. Peace out.